Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy Easter favor bag using supplies from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. And the thing that's great about this project is that you don't need any special tools or supplies. Pretty much everything you need you're going to have on hand, or you can easily find at Paper Mart. I'm using a little bit of scrap paper to create some templates for my bag. And basically what I need to make is a face template, some ear templates, and a little nose template template. So I want my face template to be kind of um, just kind of like a chubby cheeked bunny face. And so I folded my paper in half to make sure it'll be symmetrical. And then I'm just simply trimming that out with my scissors. So now that I open it up, I can trace that on my good cardstock and I'll have a cute little bunny face. Now I'm going to do the same thing for my ears. So what I'm going to do is grab a pencil and sketch on a couple ovals. I'm going to want bigger ovals that I can cut out of white paper to be the outside of the bunny ears. And then smaller ovals that I can cut out of pink paper to be the the uh, inner part of the ears. And while I'm at it, I'm also gonna cut out a little triangle to be the bunny nose. Now you're probably wondering why I don't just sketch this on the paper itself. Well, I'm gonna do this so that I can make sure they're symmetrical. And the trick to this is to fold my template in half and cut out one side. So that way, both sides will end up being the same. I use this trick all the time because quite frankly, it's a lot of times easier than getting a die cut out or making up my own die cut design. There, see, perfect oval. So repeat that with the nose and the other ear piece. Then trace your templates on the cardstock you wish to cut them out from. And don't forget to save those templates for future projects you might want them for. When I cut out the face template, I made sure to leave some extra space behind the bunny face. That way I could fold the template in half and put it over the top of my lunch bag, just so it would look a little neater and be a little more secure. Once you have all your pieces cut out, you can start assembling your bunny bag. To get a really nice, neat fold on the top of your favor bag, I recommend scoring your bunny face piece in half before you fold it. Then fold it in half and it's gonna look nice and crisp. And we're gonna build the face on this piece before we even attach it to the bag. I'm gonna start by gluing the two white ears down at the top of the face and then gluing the pink ear inserts in the middle. Then I glued down the nose and a couple of cute googly eyes for the bunny's eyes. Now, if you don't have googly eyes, you could simply draw on some eyes, use what you have and be creative. This is a fun project, a really great one to do with your kids and they'll be so creative no matter what you decide to do. Now for some details, I decided to use a black pen to draw whiskers on the bunny and there the face is all set. I thought this cute bunny could use a treat, so what I'm gonna do is make a carrot, and I started by just kind of fringe cutting the top of a piece of scrap um, crepe paper, and then just kind of bunching it up to make the greenery from the carrot, and then I cut an orange carrot from a scrap of textured orange paper I had lying around. And then I just glued that to the bag along with the bunny face, and our cute little bunny was done. I got thinking about our bunny and our carrot, and I realized the bunny really can't eat the carrot unless he has some teeth so I cut out a couple little front teeth from a scrap of white cardstock and added that into. I think this is such a fun Easter project. I love how the kids can get involved. I mean, think of how cute this would be on your Easter dinner table, one at every place with maybe some activities for the kids or some candy. I mean, there's so much you can do with this idea and it is so fun. You can find the bags that I used along with all the other supplies you're gonna need at our sponsor, Paper Mart. Check them out online at www.papermart.com packaging for less. Happy crafting!